Okay, we're talking about longitude and latitude today because we're, you guys probably don't remember, way back on Thursday we did spheres, so we're kind of keeping with that. Um, this won't work very well, but I kind of need to do this. Um, Uh, so, guys, remember back when we did circles and like the central angle right here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, let's say the central angle was 15 degrees. What do I know about this arc right here? 15 degrees. Okay. So, well, this thing's kind of screwed up. Remember, this map had a problem. So if this is another 15 degrees, well, the whole thing out here would be like 30, right? If you look on this map right here, it says 30. Can you guys see that part? Whoops, I accidentally zoomed in. It says 30 degrees right there. Um, that's kind of where they got this from. What are these horizontal lines called on the map? Lines of latitude, because you can climb them like a ladder, right? And so the vertical lines were what? Longitude. Longitude. And what's this line of latitude that's right through the middle? Equator. equator. You guys know where, why they chose that to be the equator? The other class did not. Um, not exactly, no. Because it's like kind of close. Because it cut the world in. Yeah. Well, if I turned the world this way, you could draw an equator right there and that's still cut in half. You don't have to put it right there. No, it's more of a science question, yeah. But we'll, that's true, but why choose the North Pole to be the North Pole? Why is North Pole? Okay, now I said it's a science question. Why is North Pole and South Pole so cold? Because they're part of the equator. Why is the equator warm? Okay, the equator, yeah, but one, <clears throat> one way you could say it is it gets more sunlight. It's, so about, it's called the spring or fall equinox, I don't, like, it'd be like March 21st or whatever. The sun will be directly overhead, uh, maybe I can show it on this, the sun will be directly facing this, that makes it hotter. Um, on June 21st, so our summer, the sun gets up to this line, which is called the Tropic of Cancer. You guys heard that before? Yeah. It'll be directly over, like, Mexico. Okay, so it'll be really hot in Mexico on June 21st, a little bit, because it's directly overhead. And then on December 21st, our winter, these guys' summer, um, it'll be over the Tropic of <coughs> Capricorn. So between here and here, the sun is directly overhead. When it's closer to right over our head, it's called, we call it summer because it's hot, makes it hot. And then when it's over here, it's our winter. Anyway, so that's kind of getting off the track. That was more of a science thing. That's where they came up with the equator though. Now for the, this is called the prime meridian, the zero degree longitude. Um, I think because whoever came up with it was like living in England and it basically goes through, I don't think it goes exactly through London, but um, it's maybe a suburb of London. I don't know. I can't remember what the town's name was, but it's, <laughs> it's basically London. So, you know, you can kind of see it a little bit better there. It's right here. Prime ready. It says zero degrees. Okay. Get over it. All right. Um, so we kind of talked about that circle. It's, this map's a little bit screwed up. This should say 15 degrees right here. These lines are counting by 15. So it says 15, well, it should say 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. And then it goes south, 15, 30, 45. So, um, Bangkok, Thailand right there is about, you could say, 14 degrees north. Issa, quiet. 
Okay, and then, so for latitude, by the way, why does it only go up to like 90 degrees up here at the top? Okay, because if you think about it on a circle, how far is it from there to there? 90, right? So it only goes up to 90. And the lines over here, like this line of latitude is going to be the same as this line of latitude. So it's just, this is like 15 degrees north. Okay, anyways. Keep zooming in and out on me. And so if you want to go east and west, starting from the prime meridian, that's, that would be like zero degrees, zero degrees, zero, zero. Um, it counts by 15 also. If you look down here at the bottom, it says zero. It doesn't mark this, but it says this one's 30. So this would be like 45, 60. Anyway, Bangkok is almost all the way up to 120. So it's probably like, uh, 115 degrees east okay so that would be for like the city right here um, so it's kind of like when you do the XY coordinate plane except for you're supposed to go up and down first you do the lines of latitude first and then you do the lines of longitude so longitude goes from 0 to 180 way over here and then this would be 0 to 180 degrees east and then on this side, it goes from 0 to 180 degrees west. And if you can look at the bottom to kind of keep track where you're at. So the 180 degrees west and the 180 degrees east is actually the same spot. Does that make sense? Because you're going away from the prime meridian, so you're going to... 180 would be the other side of the globe, right? The other half a circle, half the sphere. So they end up at the same spot. So about why is about where it's at. That's where, by the way, you know, when we do like the New Year thing, they say that's who's ever's on, on this side of the 180, just west of the 180. That's the first New Year people. So Hawaii actually gets it about last. They, they're the last person in the day. Anyway, uh, let's look at one through four. Did you guys bring your Chromebooks and stuff? Might need it. Well, you can you can share with somebody, but we're gonna need it. You can use this too, I guess. But okay, um, number one. Are longitudinal lines great circles? Which ones were longitude? Yeah, up and down. Okay, we talked about great circles on Thursday. You guys remember what it meant? It's drawing a circle around the widest part of the sphere. So the equator would be a great circle. Would this line right above the equator be a great circle? Or let's go all the way to the North Pole. Would this line of latitude be a great circle? No, it's fairly small. So you have to be like right in the middle to, to draw a great circle. So the question on number one is, are all longitudinal lines great circles? No. Or all of them, some of them, or none of them, oh, basically? Sometimes. Lines of longitude, what do you think? Oh, wait, so longitude's always going down? Yes. Oh. Can we do A, S, and then? What do you guys think? Okay, that's latitude. Okay. I latitude. Number one, we're talking about longitude. We're in the book. Okay, all the lines of longitude, like start from the South Pole, they spread out, go up, and then meet back together at the North Pole. Right? Like the prime meridian. The prime meridian is one of them. Yeah. But if you turn the globe, they all they're all the same. They're just going from here. From the North Pole to South Pole. No. Always. Always. Okay, all of them are complete full circles. They go. I don't know, just think about it for a second. It's not like lines of latitude because latitude, they like 
get smaller and smaller as you go up here. So on number three, our lines of latitude, do lines of latitude intersect each other? Sometimes, always, or never? Which one are the latitudes? These horizontal lines. Do they ever touch each other? No. No. So they're all like parallel to each other. So the answer is never. Uh, I guess we can do two and four. Are latitudinal lines great circles? Well, sometimes because what's the one great circle? Equator. So it's sometimes. And actually only once. Uh, do lines of longitude intersect each other? No. Okay, where do they intersect at? The prime meridian. Yeah, the north and south pole. They all come up and meet at the north and south pole. So always? Always. Can you cut a line of meridian? What? Wait, I mean a line of meridian. Okay. So you can use your computer, but you cannot like Google the coordinates. I, mean, I want you guys to have like some awareness of the world and how longitude and latitude works. Uh, so don't just plug it in, or don't go to Google Earth and plug it. Whatever, don't don't do that. You have to use a map. You have to use a map. Um, no, it doesn't have to be exact. One of the answers, for example, is like Alexandria, Egypt, which is not even on this map. But it's like one degree away from Cairo, Egypt. So if you put Cairo, Egypt, it's going to be okay. Basically, if you get the country right, you're fine. So number five, I didn't talk about this, but number five says, name the city, 21 degrees. And then it says 18 something. Okay, yeah, feet. Well, actually, in this context, it means minutes. You can split up and degree into 60 minutes. So really what this means, another way to write this, this is 21 and 18 sixtieths of a degree. Now, do we need to be that exact? No. Basically, I would just say this is about, this is closer, whoops, I said sixtieths or sixteenths. This is closer to 21 degrees than it is 22. It's, it can't be that exact with these maps. You'd have to zoom in big time on one of the countries to be that precise. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. So basically it's 21 degrees north and 157 and 51 minutes is closer to 60 minutes. So it's close to 158 degrees west. You guys see where I got that? So we're supposed to name the city at that location. So 21 degrees north. So here's the equator. Uh, remember how I said they're counting by 15s? So this would be 15 degrees north. Don't, you can't use the Tropic of Cancer. That's like a special, so kind of ignore that one. This is 15, this would be 30. I zoomed in here. Um, so 21 would be a little bit closer to 15, so it'd be like on this line. And then, oh, I wrote it up here, 158 degrees west. Well, I'm gonna have to zoom back out. This is 150 right here. So, and this would be 165, because they go by 15, so, wait, that's not right. Did I write the right problem down? 158 degrees west. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong line. It's kind of hard to see the bottom because it's white, but this 150 is actually coming right here. Not this one. So yeah, it's going out white. So this is 150, 158 is right there. This one was when I was zoomed in. It was on the right spot, but yeah, it's off. 
So anyways, <laughs> I keep zooming in and out and it screws it up. Um, let me try again. 15, 21. This is 150, so 158. It's right here. Guess what city is right there? American Islands. Honolulu. It's spelled Honolulu. Hawaii. My word. You don't know where Hawaii is at. I thought Hawaii is like next to Alaska. What is it like? Alaska, oh. Alaska is pretty, really far away, actually. Right. Because on the oh, map, wait. it's because they don't fit on the map, so we have to stick them in the corner. But here's the globe. There's Hawaii. There's Alaska. So it's you know, like about. They're like a thousand miles away. All right. You can use your laptops. Uh, you can partner up if you want to. I'll come around and check your number six in a little bit. Um, I'm not going to, basically if you get in the right, go ahead and say the city name, but if you're in the right country, I'll probably count it. Oh no, number 11. 